everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing something very strange. So, we have a river on our property, and we go down there very often. And there's a country club on the other side of the river, and they do, like, have golf courses and everything. So, many people accidentally knock their golf balls into the river, so every time we go down there, we find, like, 10 or 20 golf balls. So, we have a ton of of golf balls from the river. So I thought, you know what, maybe we can paint on them and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is my golf ball. It looks just like any other golf ball. It has a few stains on it, but that's fine. To prepare the golf ball for paint, I have some sandpaper that I'm just roughing it up and hopefully that'll make it so that the paint will be able to stick to the golf ball easily. I'm not sure if this will work, but it seems to be roughing it up a little bit, so hopefully it will. Okay, now that it has a quick sand, I it is ready for paint. Um, first, though, I need the white paint because I'm going to be using this paint for a base coat. I'm not sure if it needs it because it's basically mostly already white, but I'm going to add it just in case. So I'm adding this white base coat, and you may notice this, what, this white looks off-white compared to the bright white of the base, um, not the baseball, <laughs> the golf ball. Um, and as you can see that I am going out of frame um, right now and that is something that happens a lot in this video so I am sorry for that but you're not missing anything believe me okay now I'm gonna let that out to, set that out to dry and then I can do the other side okay now that that's dry um, it looks good and now I can go in for the first color I'm going to be using black for the first color, and if I had known I was going to be using black, I wouldn't have done the base coat, because the black goes over the logo and everything, but it's too late to turn back. So, um, the black is going to be um, for the night sky, because this is going to be a night-themed golf ball. So, I'm painting the first half with that black, and then I'm going to let that dry, and then paint the second half of the black. Okay, so now I have it completely black, and now I'm gonna use my silver pasta paint pen to draw on the stars. I started doing like five pointed stars, but they looked really blobby and I didn't like them very much. So then I started doing six pointed stars, and I also added a few dots around to be like stars in the distance. Um, so I'm just covering that in stars. I did not really like how this turned out. I think I should have used my finer tip silver pasta because it just looked really bad. It didn't look very good at all. Um, so this was definitely not my favorite of the two golf balls that I painted in this video. Um, so it's okay, but you know, not the best. Doesn't look that great. Looks kind of like a eight year old did it, but that doesn't matter. As you can see, I'm going out of the frame again. So now I'm just adding little touch ups and then I added my signature. Um, so it's really hard to draw on the golf ball because it's very lumpy because you know, like the golf ball has the little craters. And as you can see, my head is getting in the way. And that is yet another thing that is going to happen a lot in this video. So I am sorry. Okay, so now it's time for our second golf ball. Sorry that the footage is a little blurry now, but I don't get better. So I get some sandpaper and I started roughing it up again, just like I did with the first one. And after I sanded it, I decided to skip the white base coat completely and just go in with the color because I don't think the white base coat was necessary. I get some, I have some blue there and now I'm getting some white so I can make it a lighter blue because this golf ball is going to be themed um, for day. I have one night and one day. This is definitely my favorite of the two. Um, it just looks much nicer than the other one. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm gonna go in for the sun. 
And I have some yellow paint here. And then I also tried to use this orangish yellow paint, but I could not get anything out. I was squeezing this for probably like five minutes trying to get something out, but nothing came out. So I kept on trying, but eventually I got sick of that. So I got some scissors and I started cutting the bottle in half to ho in hopes that there was some paint left in there. There was, which was good. So I ended up just using that as like my palette. I started painting on the sun. And as you can see, I'm gonna do like a yellow circle and then I'm gonna use some of the orange for shading. But the iPad that I was using to film died while I was doing this. So you don't get to see me doing the orange. Okay, so the sun is looking good. So now it's time for me to add the clouds using my white paint. So I'm just taking my brush, dipping it in a little bit, and then I'm starting adding the clouds around. Um, I wasn't very happy with how I positioned the clouds. Like some of the ones that I did didn't look very nice, but I decided not to go over them. I decided just to leave them, especially the one I'm doing right now. That one's too big. But um, I think that the clouds are okay. It was just, it would have been nicer if I made them a little bit smaller and more wispier, and if I added like some gray for shading, but I didn't. I just left them white blobs, but I think it still looks okay. Okay, now that it's dry, I am going to use my Posca and I'm going to add my signature. I think I should have used a different color Posca because this did not show up very well on the blue, but I did not change it. I just left it because you can kind of see it. It's easier to see in real life than it is on camera. Okay, so now that they're done, they are um, ready for their top coat of Mod Podge. This is matte Mod Podge, just protects the paint. And I'm gonna add two layers of that to make sure that the paint won't scratch off and that it'll be nice and protected. Okay, so they're done. I think they look pretty good considering like the shape of the golf ball and all the little dents. I am really happy with them and I think they will be so cute and they will be a good decoration in my room. Um, and I'm really happy with them.